Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll make a new JavaScript project as we already made a six project. So in this week also, we'll make a new JavaScript project, Stock Market. In this project, we can buy, sell the stock, even we can update our portfolio also. Guys, as we know that in every project, we are learning new things. In this project also, we'll learn a new thing. We already have so many events like click event, change event, key up, key down, DOM content listener, right? And focus and so many other also. But can we possible to create our own event and we can send data? And even the data we can send from one component to another component also without passing even any property or anything that thing can possible that is custom event we can make our own event we can dispatch it also even we can send data along that event also similar to this project guys in the future also i will make a such an interactive project you guys can just follow it actually every week i will launch a new video you guys can just follow me make the project with me Take the reference and you guys can put this project into portfolio also. All the project, all the ideas are totally new, updated to the market. Even in every project, we are learning the new thing also. So you guys can just follow it. Let's see the practical of it. As you guys can see the screen, we have some stocks. We can choose it any stock and we can buy it also. Even we can change the quantity also. Suppose I choose two Apple stock and we can see total we got it. One stock of the Google and two stock of the Apple and total price is also updating. We can sell it also any stock also. Suppose I'm selling Microsoft, but I does not have, I got this message. Even guys, we are updating the price also over here and over here also. We are trying to simulate this is a real stock market, but we are updating the price over here only through the custom event. That thing also we should learn it. We can add n number of the stock also. These all are the customizable thing. Even we can buy or sell from here also. So we can buy one stock, we can add it over here. If you will sell it and if you sold completely stock, it should be removed from the portfolio only. So guys, this is very good project for learning the custom event, binding the data, manipulate the HTML and display dynamically. So let's jump on the coding part. Use the HTML file and we need to add some CSS and the script tag and the script file reference also. So this is our CSS one, there it will come and we are using over here font awesome for the icon purpose. Here we'll use the script one. First we will make a container div. Inside it will make the header part. This is header guys. Header is the HTML5 semantic tag. Another thing is we need to show some ticker also. Ticker means look like as a marker is keep running it. So I'm talking about guys this one. This marker, this price is moving into ticker actually. So these things will be come over here. Next part is we need to be at the main content. So in the content we have the two section. One is the left side. There we are showing the stock and right side we are showing the portfolio. So we'll make trading panel and right side will make the portfolio in the trading panel we will show drop down plus with heading drop down we can make through the select and options we should add one area label also for accessibility here i'm giving stock select options or stock stock options below this one we should we add the stock number of the stock input box this is input box and here also we should add the area label number of stock. These area level guys will help out when we will use the accessibility tool. Like for example, we have NVDA for the windows and we have voiceover for the Mac system. Through the audio, once we actually hover or focus on it, it will actually listen. This is the number of stock of the input box. Below this one, we should make the two button buy and sell the stock. Similar to that, we should have one portfolio also. In the portfolio, we'll add dynamically LI tag and below we'll show the total also here i'm adding some css and css is plain css you guys can just follow it if any help you required please write down the comment i help out you also so just go through this one and just try to make it so our page is ready let's open it on through the live server guys this is extensions you can download from the from here any html file you can right click open with live server it will open into browser on a particular port also so this is our html part now we need to be write down the functionality part in the javascript first we will add the event for dom content load meaning when the dom is loaded when the html and css is ready means dom is prepared then we wanted to run our javascript part guys over here i made it so many control with the id tags so these control i can access in my javascript through document dot query selector or either the document dot get element by id so i am making some variable over here these are the variable query selector over here query selector is providing us to guys any css selector we can put it actually and that element we will get it over here in javascript part inside it we have one stock list also to make a portfolio i am making one variable portfolio 
and this is javascript object and this is blank object later on we will add it more data on it next thing is we have two button buy button or sell button we will add the event on it so buy button dot add event listener and we will add the click event this is the functions on click what we wanted to do suppose on the click i wanted to be just call it trade functions in this trade function i will pass one variable that is buy or sell so this is my event when we click on the buy button similar to that we have sell button also this is sell and here we'll pass the sell custom event we will use the later on so first we will write down the trade functions trade we we'll write down functions trade and this is our action so what action we wanted to take buy or sell we will get it over here so we have one drop down that is stock select through this one we will get the which stock we are selecting it so i can just simply say symbol which symbol we are selecting stock select dot value next thing we will get the quantity also so here we'll write down let quantity equal to percent quantity dot value we'll get an integer and this is the text box value here we should pass the whenever we do the percent guys we should pass the radix also and for number we should pass the 10 only this is quantity i can sim simply say amount i need to be take different variable name so here i'm saying amount only so if action is by what we wanted to do so that we will need to write down over here or else if, if action is sell then what we wanted to do that we need to write down over here so these are the two section if and else so all the thing we are maintaining in this portfolio object so if action is by we will check portfolio object that symbol we have or not if that symbol does not have in that portfolio we will add the symbol with value zero below this one suppose we added the symbol below this one second step we need to be add the amount also so whatever the amount we get it over here we need to pass it over here similar to this one in the cell also we'll try to do the same thing if we does not have any symbol and we try to sell it then we should show a message or i can just simply say if we already have portfolio symbol and the amount is less than whatever the amount we actually have it then also we should say alert message and even we should return it from here only if we have portfolio have some data we should be minus it from that amount next part is we need to update a portfolio so to update the portfolio we'll use a one more functions functions update portfolio and here we'll write down the logic so update portfolio means guys we will update the portfolio list over here and that object we are accessing over here so first we will clear the inner html of it because if already existing there and we are adding it we should be clear it always second thing suppose we need to calculate the total also below this one we will run a loop we can run for each loop also normal loop also so here i'm running normal loop symbol wise we will need to run and in the portfolio we'll get it so for in loop is very good loop if we are running on an object we will get one by one key over here first we will check in the portfolio object that symbol price is if it is greater than zero then only we need to do something second thing whatever the quantity we push it in portfolio guys we have only two things one is to basically the portfolio symbol and another one is the quantity from the portfolio symbol and the quantity we can get the price from here also right so first we will get the total so this is the key key means that particular portfolio will get it and second thing is whatever the stock price we have that we need to multiply so guys this is the quantity and this is the what is the price so we will multiply we will get the value and that price we are adding into the total value also so here we'll add into total values next thing is whenever we'll buy or sell any stock so we will update the css also so this is the css class we are adding the stock then we'll show this stock is up if you are removing the stock that means stock is down so if buying it means we are having an object if we are buying then we will see this one if you are sell we will see this one beside of this one if you wanted to show some arrow then we can show the arrow over here this the stock symbol if the changes is greater than zero then we'll show up otherwise we'll show the bill of this one next thing is finally we need to create a one ally this is ally and on the ally we can add some inner html and the style also so this is the class for styling purpose and we have this is inner html in this inner html guys we have three things one is the symbol what is the share price we have another is actually this arrow we are showing it stock up and down and finally we have the two button also buy or sell in this two button also we need to write down logic 
from here also we can buy or sell also finally this portfolio we need to update into on this list so one by one we are running through the loop and we will update it over here so the portfolio list up and the child ally after coming outside the loop so this loop will be ended over here we should update the total also so total we are updating as a text content so whatever the value we get it as a total over here one by one loop is running one by one we'll be adding it and we will get it over here next thing is on this two button also we need to be add the event also so we'll get it document dot query selector all we will get this button so both the button we will get it over here because we are using query selector so we will get for each loop one by one button we will get it and on this button we will write down event so button dot add event listener on clicking on this button we'll write down handle portfolio actions handle portfolio actions so these actions we will write down over here functions and we need to take actions so through this class name we can understand it is buy or sell so first we will get the class name so we'll simply check guys class list if the contain is button buy then we are understanding this is buy otherwise we will sell this action we will we can pass into trade also so we'll pass trade so now from here automatically we'll take an increment one by one right but one more thing we should have one quantity also and we are not using that input box so we should update one quantity only so what we will do quantity we will update one only and in the stock also suppose which stock we buy or sell we wanted to update it so that also we can get it from this symbol data dot symbol so guys we can add any custom attribute in html through the data prefix so here i added data hyphen symbol symbol name so here we'll get the symbol once event dot target simple thing we need to write down even we should write down event here also event dot target dot get attribute so we'll use this one event dot target dot get attribute data symbol so whatever the value we have in data symbol that value will get it over here and that value we will update into the drop down so now drop down also will get it the value and even quantity also will get it after that we can simply trigger the trade functions and trade will update it if you will buy it will update the buy if you will sell if it will update the sell so now till here we made it so now question is where you will use this update portfolio and where is the custom event so these things we will make it over here so first we will make the custom event so we'll write down constant Trade meet event for example and this is new custom event and this is guys constructor inside in it will pass our event name so our event name is trade meet for example and here we can pass some options in the options we can pass it like i'm passing it bubble true and any message also we can pass into details any message any data whatever we like it we can pass it here i'm simply passing message only a trade was made so this is the event and this event we should register it also document dot add event listener and this is my event name event name is trade made and here should become listener so when this event will be triggered what handler will be actually call it so this is update portfolio will be called it and now the question is how we will trigger this one because we have some button there we can trigger it but this event also should fire it when this event will be fired then this update portfolio should call it so this event we will fire it over here so we'll write down document and document has one function which also that is called dispatch event in this pass our custom event object name so whenever we will take any trade our update portfolio will be call it through this custom event let's test it guys suppose i'm buying the apple one and it's not updating let's see the error and this is the line is giving error and the issue is we have one extra bracket let's fix this one we'll go there and this is the place we should not have one extra bracket because first parameter is the event name and second is the callback function of it now test it again we'll buy it yes it's working well and we can choose another stock here it is updating and even i can update three stock i can sell it also one that is also updating very well and if it is we does not have the quantity is actually we given the more then we should be get the message this is also coming we can sell and the portfolio is updating very well so till here we made it so now last thing is we need to be run the ticker also and that also will do through the custom event so first we will make a one functions in this function simply we will update on inner html that meaning is over here we'll update directly so this one first we will clear the inner html then we need to update the stock how many stocks we have we need to run the loop one by one and you guys have the 
list of object only not exactly array we have the object of object so here we'll get one by one object so in this object suppose i'm getting the first talk this is the first talk meaning is this is first object this first object okay so through this symbol we'll get this first object right price and the change only so we'll get it over here and in this one suppose i'm changing this class name this is a change class as we did the earlier very similar to that one here also I'm updating the arrow. If the price is below the zero, then we'll show either up arrow or the below arrow. Finally, we'll update the inner HTML of the ticker one. Here we are making the span tag. This is our change class. This is our symbol. One by one symbol, we'll get it. And this is our symbol price that we will get it from this stock one. And this is the arrow we are updating it. So this one, we will get it as a ticker one, right? So this function, we need to call it somewhere. So this function will call through this function. So this is update stock price. So whenever any stock price will be changed, we should update into stock list also. Means we should update it over here also. So we'll update it. So we'll update over here. So we are running the one by one loop. And second thing is through the random number, we will generate a number and only 0.5 we are doing the either plus or minus. Okay. Finally, whatever the price we will get it, that will update into the stock. This is the price meaning is we are updating this price guys one by one stock every stock price we will update it over here so this price we will update over here second thing and i'm just putting in decimal so through the decimal we can use the pass float whatever the stock price the two decimal only we want to update it the last thing is whatever the change we get it we should update the change also means the stock is changed from right now we have the zero it might be plus or minus value so that's now through this function we wanted to update this one through a custom event and one more thing to simulate this process we are running this stock price every after two seconds so here we are updating after two seconds this will be this function will be update again and again on the page load it will update one time and after two seconds it will update it so now the thing is we need to be trigger this one to trigger this one i need to make a custom event constant stock price change new custom event and here we'll write down options the first option is bubble one and another one is the detail one so stock price is changed finally this event we need to register and here we are registering the event this is the place and this is update stock ticker so whenever any stock is update then this function will execute only ticker one right so when this event will be triggered so now we need to trigger this event we need to dispatch this functions so we'll dispatch it on every update stock price change so we'll write down document dot dispatch and we will write down over here. So every two seconds it will update it. Let's test it on browser. We can see this is running it, right? If I'm buying some price and something, suppose Google also, Microsoft one stock, Amazon one stock, and we'll wait after two seconds, it will actually price will be little fraction and this ticker also will update it. You can see this price is actually coming and it will updating over here also. Definitely the portfolio won't change, but the new price is actually coming. So whatever the previous price we have, we need to update it also. So this portfolio also we can update it also. So how we will update the portfolio? Simple thing guys. So to update the portfolio, I can just simply the read made event, right? We can just simply go there and on this one, we can just trigger it also. Now we can go in browser. So we'll go there, we'll add, you can see it's keep updating. So we have 48.3, but you can see it is updating. So our portfolio and our total price is also keep updating. So it is actually working as a live. Last thing is in the custom event, we pass some detail also. Where is the detail? The detail we will get in handler over here suppose in this event we can write down console.log and here the event value we'll see on the browser here we can see this custom event is coming and this is the detail guys all right so the detail is coming over here so through the custom event we can get the any value any data also and this event we can use cross component also in react also we can make it we can through the javascript also we can make a custom component also there also we can use this custom event right i hope from this project guys you learned something similar to that we will make a new project in next weekend thanks for watching the video see you in the next video till the time happy coding